in many ways you catch snippets and you think, yeah, I know what this is about. It's like the, sec the, 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 the secret or the law of attraction or whatever. But it's not. Because it's about engaging your creative spirit. The first thing that happens here and the last thing is what this is about is an understanding that you actually do have a spirit. You have a creative nature, you have a creative spirit and you're not bloody using it. You can hear a lot of ideas and a lot of theories about manifestation, about creating, about growth. You know, call, call it what you want to. And they can sound like, like, you know, really good shit. They really can. They can sound like, wow, that's, that's amazing. And now I've got it. I'll give you an example. The law of attraction is one such theory that is an amazing theory, but that you need know nothing about to create anything. You don't have to know about it. The, 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 the law of attraction is based on an axiom of hermetic philosophy. All this mind science stuff, these ideas like the law of attraction and you know, creating and that, they actually all have a single origin, which is that axiom in hermetic philosophy that everything in the universe is vibration, you see, and that like vibration attracts like vibration. So if you think certain thoughts, you can attract certain things. Now, <coughs> that's, you know, now that sounds like now you know this, you can create. You can't. You can't create just with that. You, you just got an explanation for how something works. It, it might be right, it might not be. It's an explanation. I subscribe to that explanation. I'm not knocking it. But I'm just saying there are they, ideas and theories in that that are useful and there are ones that aren't. Now, the thing about this is that you know, knowing or having an idea or an explanation for how things work doesn't matter. Do you know how many people drive cars around the world today and buses and trucks and vehicles? Do you know how many of them know how it works? Very few. Who cares what's under the bonnet and how it works? If you're a mechanic, it's very important, but if you're going to drive or catch a bus or drive a car or whatever, you don't no need to know what's under the bonnet, how it works. I could give you any explanation. It could be like, wow, that's an interesting explanation. Or I could tell you, and you could get it, and I tell you all about combustion, how the combustion engine works, right? But you, by knowing how a combustion engine works, doesn't mean you're going to go anywhere. You'd need the money to get on a bus. You'd need a place to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you'd need a destination. You'd need some money for the bus. Yeah, you would. You 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 know. You, you would need a car. You would, and and what good would that car be if you didn't have petrol in it? You know. So so knowing how a car works doesn't equate to going somewhere. To being able to use a car. Did you see what I'm saying? So just you know. So you know how manifesting works. It doesn't mean anything. You see. The thing that's critical here is to know how what the petrol of creating is. And the petrol of creating is not a law out there. It's something in you. It's you, the powers within you, the petrols within you. And the petrol of creating is understanding that end results engage your engage your creative nature. Now when you know this, you are going to start you know, becoming a powerful, self-conscious manifester. And you need to know this, I believe, premise, you see? Because this is a premise that's actually going to take you somewhere. Now, you see, the thing is about this, this premise doesn't tell you how your creative nature works. It's not interested in, in, in things. Because any, any way we could tell you that your creative na nature works is an interesting explanation. It's a premise. It might be how it works, it might not be. Because it doesn't matter how it works. It matters that you know what engages that creative nature. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's like, y you see, it's like trying to explain miracles. 
How are you going to have an explanation for miracles? But imagine you had a way of engaging miracles. Now you're talking. You see? So the thing that you need to know about and be serious about and get serious about and get awareness and, and, and you know, make a stand for and claim is you already know. We might be expanding further and further in this training, but you need to just claim for a fact what it's really about, what the essence is about, and it's about that end results engage your creative nature. You see, because you can have a thing like the law of attraction. So people now start thinking about end results. Oh, if I think about a car, or if I have a vision board and you know all of these things, then that will float into my life. And sometimes it does, and you know, more often it doesn't. That's the truth. Because you see, one of the most certain things in life, I assure you, one of the most certain things in life is this, that as soon as anybody has an end result in mind, their stuff's going to come up. Because it's, it's a natural, it's a natural human inclination, mental inclination of the mind, that when you have an end result in your mind, there's a sort of semi-useful, semi-idiotic part of yourself that wants to help and goes, well, so how do we get this thing? What's the process by which this will come to us? How will it come? When will it come? Why will it come? How, why, when? And it creates a tension in you through a range of emotions that will be specific to your personality type. It can be anger, grief, anxiety, whatever. And then you will want to resolve this, and, you, and, and we call it process. We call it process orientation, where you go into how is this going to come about. And you see, this process orientation now engages your um, assumptions about yourself, others, the world. In other words, it engages your beliefs. And then, unless you have the discipline of a trained creator, you're going to run with this. Whether you're aware of it or not, you are going to run with this. And what you're going to be now focused on your beliefs. And now you're going to create your beliefs. That's what you're going to be manifesting through the law of attraction. And what I'm saying is absolutely true. How do I know what I'm saying is absolutely true? Because what is the biggest industry in the world, in, in the growth, in the creating, manifesting industry? Belief clearing. Because they know that when you create, you end up in your beliefs. So then they go, well, what you need to do is get rid of your beliefs or change them or whatever. This is what we've got to do, and then we can have what we want. And then you're just in the beliefs <laughs> even more. And it, you know, people in that industry have no sense of irony that they are preaching that what you focus on, you attract. And there they are focusing on beliefs. You know, they have no sense of irony of that fact. Um, and, you know, the truth is, you don't have to... Again, here's here's, a, here's another like almost useless theory, counterproductive theory even. You don't have to change your beliefs. It's not to say you can't get results by working on beliefs and things. You can. There are things that can happen and whatever. But basically, to be a creator, to be a switched-on creator, to, to know what's useful to know, to know what's essential to know, like a car needs petrol. I, you know, I'm 53 now. Hey, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a male. I'm supposed to know how a car works and, and whatever, and I don't. And I've had no problem driving around all my life because I know something essential about cars, which is that they take petrol. And they have, you know, you've got to turn the steering wheel and, you know, I've got an automatic so I don't even have to change the gears. You know, not much of a man, I know, but hell, I get around, <laughs> you know. I get around and, and I create because I create because I know what's essential to know about creating. And that's what I'm teaching you here. I'm teaching you what's essential to know about creating. What's essential to know about creating is that your 
creative nature is engaged by end results, 